perfect Skywars game. The coveted 11 kill. Something that every Skywars player dreams of getting. It's something that I have never gotten. Well, I mean, I kind of have one, and I'm gonna talk about it. If you enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'm getting super close to three subscribers, and it would really mean a lot to me if you did. Anyways, let's get into it. You would think that someone who has been playing Skywars almost since it was released, someone who has almost 25,000 wins, you think at least one of them would be an 11 kill game. At least one of them would be the perfect Skywars game that ever everybody wants unfortunately no no i've never gotten a perfect skywars game and that makes me very upset because a lot of people got them at way lower stars way lower win counts like there's a lot of players who are like have not been playing as long as me that have perfect skywars games and that makes me sad because i think i should have one however there is one way that you can fix this by liking the video my chances of getting an 11 kill game increase by one percent <laughs> hey maybe i'm kidding maybe i'm joking but the only way to find out is by liking the video he <laughs> my master plan to get people to like my youtube videos is oh my god this guy's be hopping ah they got banned <coughs> only after i die i have so many 10 kill wins it's not even funny. I have so many screenshots of me just getting a 10 kill. Like, here's one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's one from a video I made. Like, I have so many 10s that it's not even funny. Pretty much all of my 10s share one little facet in common, and it's usually based upon the fact that someone falls in the void or someone logs off or whatever. One other person gets a kill, and I cannot get every single one. However, looking through all my screenshots, I do actually have one screenshot in my screenshots folder called 11 kill game with a bunch of exclamation marks dot PNG dot PNG. I don't know why there's two PNGs on there, but uh, we're, we're going to run with it anyways. When you click on this screenshot, you will see that it is a screenshot from Heaven Palace, and it says in the first killer box, Iro the Cookie Lord, 11 kills. But Iro, how do you have an 11 kill game if you said you've never gotten one? How are you cheating? Oh my god, did you stage this? Oh my god! So yeah, the screenshot looks pretty suspicious when you ask me. What I mean by that is there's also a lot of like somewhat high star players in that lobby, and even a couple really recognized recognizable names like my friend Horace the local. Yeah, as you could probably expect, this screenshot is actually fake. I did- this was in a private game, and I'll explain what private game it was because it's pretty interesting. There's actually video of it on YouTube that I'll play somewhere throughout this video where I get all 11 kills, but I, I went as far to edit out the private game tag because usually when you're in a private game, there's a little P next to the date on the leaderboard, but I actually edited it out of this screenshot just so I could like show it to people and be like, oh my god, look, I got an 11 kill game with so many famous people in my game. <laughs> so this screenshot's from back in 2020. Basically, I died. So first things first to preface this, I am a staff member of my guild, the Hypixel Knights, and we have what's called allied guilds where we're like kind of partnered up, unofficially partnered up with other guilds and you know, we like host events together and do whatever. Back in 2020, we were allied with a guild named Infamy and we decided to do a staff GVG or a guild versus guild. These were a lot more common years ago. We don't really do them anymore because the GVG scene has kind of died out. However, back in 2020, we did do a staff GVG against Infamy where basically our staff members went up against theirs and we actually ended up winning the GVG because I mean, we're just better than Infamy. Me, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but basically, in the final round, I got the silly, goofy idea. What if I tried killing everybody just for fun? Like, what if everyone's lined up for a perfect screenshot? These are done in games of solo Skywars, by the way. What if I just went into a game and started strength chaining everybody? Let's roll the clip. Why not? Oh my god. Dude, I stop. Let me do it. <laughs> this is my game. Let me get an 11 kill game. <laughs> No, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. I'm gonna die. Let me get an 11. No, Soup's gonna like walk off or something. Easy first 11 kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you can actually see there, there is a private tag, but on the screenshot, I did edit it out, which I think is really funny. <laughs> I was worried because I thought that I messed it up or that someone was going to just like, 
I almost got a kill stolen, actually, which was really annoying, but I somehow managed to get all 11 kills in that game without dying. The first, like, five were really easy, and there was still, like, nobody, because it was supposed to be a screenshot round, nobody really grabbed armor except for me, so I was kind of just able to, like, two-tap everyone, which really worked out in my favor for this, but... That's really the story of my only 11 kill game. I've never gotten a legitimate 11 kill game. However, just because I've never gotten one does not mean that I'm not going to tell you how you can get your own because I am a completely qualified individual. Hee <laughs> hee. So basically, if you want to get your own 11 kill win, basically you got to win the game first of all. That's that's a challenge in itself, as you can see by my struggling attempts to record the Skywars commentary. While it is mostly luck based, I've noticed that there are a couple things that you can do to try and get better at getting these higher kill games. My first tip is to play as aggressive as you can within reason. Don't play so aggressive that you're kind of stupid like me, but play aggressive to the point where you can like get comfortable high amount of kills without dying. Playing aggressive helps you get a lot more kills. If you rush mid quick, you get more stuff. If you get pearls too, you got a better chance of getting a higher kill game. However, I do notice that there is pretty much a set list of maps that people get these super high kill games on. That was a good clutch. Jeez. You don't see anyone getting an 11 kill game on deserted islands, so you gotta stick to like a set list of maps. The main maps that I've seen people get 11s on are Aegis, Tribal, Shire. Try to avoid any super big map. The only exception that I've seen for this is Firelink Shrine. That's probably one of my best maps personally. I've gotten so many 10 kills and just high kill games and teams on this map as well, so I would probably recommend this one. But yeah, definitely Aegis, Shire, any small map that's pretty well contained is a good map. Heaven Palace was one of my favorites. I used to get a lot of 10 kills on that map, which again is a weird outlier because it seems like it's such a big map, but everyone just flocks to the center. It's really good. Make sure that you've got all your perks maxed out too. Ender Mastery, Strength Chaining. Make sure you got all those maxed before you try and do something like this because you're going to need all of them. I am not PvPing well today. I just stole that kill. That guy just got... That was so sad. I feel so bad for you. Oh, you're aggro pearling me now. Oh, sorry. I stole the kill. Not really. I'm not sorry. Anyways, that's going to be the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, goodbye.